Welcome to your Cohesion Classroom. In this lesson, we'll take a look at properties of addition. At the end of this video, you'll have access to our tips and takeaways, allowing you to focus on the content. You can always access any of our tips and takeaways from the lesson page before or after watching this lesson. The two properties that we will take a look at are the identity property of addition and the commutative property of addition. The identity property states that the sum of any number and zero is that number. The commutative property states that students can add two or more numbers in any order and get the same sum. Through this lesson, we'll be working on building addition fact fluency, which means that addition facts can be solved quickly without computation on paper or the use of fingers to count on. Let's take a look at an example of how to use properties of addition. Students may be presented with two word problems with the same add-ins or numbers. For example, Jamie has six pencils and her friend gives her two more pencils. How many pencils does she have now? And also, John has two pencils and his friend gives him six more pencils. How many pencils does he have now? After solving each problem, students would be asked to discuss what they notice about the numbers and operations within the word problems. The hope would be that students would recognize that both problems had the same sum or answer. After making this discovery, students would be introduced to the commutative property of addition, explaining that any time the same two add-ins or numbers are added together, they equal the same sum or answer. The same process would be used to help students identify the identity property of multiplication. A possible mistake may be that students still use the three numbers in the addition fact, but in the wrong place. For example, six plus two equals eight, but students would write eight plus two equals six. In order to address this, you may draw a picture or model of the addition equation or use objects to count and show that eight plus two can't equal six. Students may also solve for six plus two equals eight, and then when given the problem two plus six, attempt to recalculate rather than use the knowledge that they already have to transfer the sum. In this case, remind students to use the commutative property when solving addition problems with the same add-ins or numbers. If students find that this is a difficult concept, using counters or drawing pictures can help to reinforce the basic skill and understanding of addition. Later on, students will also learn the identity and commutative property of multiplication. Uniting students and families in learning, we are Cohesion Education. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.